Okay, so the Revolutionary War ends, and we're going to do on this note page, we're going to title it the Treaty of Paris 1783, because that is the document that is officially going to end the American Revolution. Both the English representatives and the American representatives are going to meet in Paris where they will sign this document. And this document is so important to us because it officially recognizes the United States of America as its own country. We had declared independence in 1776, but nobody really thought we were independent until 1783. It's important for people to recognize you versus you just saying you're your own country. So, here we go. What we need to do first is we need to understand, well, where is the United States? And we can best do that if we draw a map. So go ahead, draw the outline of your map right there. We've drew, drawn it enough times that you know what to do. So we're going to label a few things. We have the Atlantic Ocean right there. Here is my Great Lakes. Right here are my Appalachian Mountains. I got my Mississippi River right there. Here is going to be my Rocky Mountains, and then of course all the way over here on the West Coast, I got the Pacific Ocean. Now, we know that the 13 colonies were on the East Coast, right? The 13 colonies are on the East Coast, right here on the other side of the Appalachian Mountains. And we know that after the French and Indian War, Great Britain is going to claim the land from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mississippi River. So, when the war ends, the United States is officially going to claim the land from the Atlantic Ocean to the river right there. So we're going to go ahead and say that all of this right here, so all of this in here, this is the new U.S. of A in 1783. So there we go. We have our official United States of America right there. It goes from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mississippi River. So we'll say Mississippi River. To Atlantic Ocean. Now we got Florida still hanging out right there. And who's going to claim Florida at this time period? Well, it's going to be none other than Spain. And let's remember, um, Spain helped us a little bit during the war. Bernardo de Galvez, the governor of New Spain. So, of course, we want Spain to keep that land right there. Who are our other allies in the war? Well, it was none other than the French. Parlez-vous français. And so the French are going to get New Orleans right down there, that city, and all of this land right here. They're going to claim that land over here. So this is all going to be claimed by the French. And then coming towards the west and the south, we already know who claims that. That is going to be none other than our Spanish. And so under the Treaty of Paris, 1783, the United States is officially going to have that land between the Mississippi River to the Atlantic Ocean. So, the Treaty of Paris does two things for us. Number one, it officially recognizes the USA. It says you are your own country. And then number two, it ends the war. Now you're probably wondering, well, where did Great Britain go? Well, some of the soldiers are going to stay a little bit here, but Britain really is going to come up here into Canada, and they're going to claim a lot of the land in the north. 
And so we end at the top, T-O-P, with the Treaty of Paris. If we remember our V timeline, our top is right up there. We end with the Treaty of Paris, 1783, officially recognizing the United States, ending the war. The U.S. runs from the Mississippi River to the Atlantic Ocean. Britain comes up into Canada. We have France as our neighbors to the west, and then Spain even further west and down in Florida.